The Wellness Show, episode 121. Welcome to The Wellness Show, a podcast on health and wealth. I'm your host, Tyson Bannigan, the founder of the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy. Join me as we get the latest insight, tips, and strategies from wellness providers, coaches, and successful heart-centered entrepreneurs, and much, much more. Welcome to the Wellness Show. It's great to catch up with you. I know lots is happening in your life. Lots and lots and lots, Angelica. So what's happening with the center? Where are you with that? Is it still up for sale? Did you find that magic couple yet? Are you still looking? What's going on? Yes, we're still... We put it that we're looking for new owners. We'd like a couple of people, or maybe, you know, it takes more than two of us to run yeah. the place. So we're looking, it would be nice if a cooperative or a family of four, however those friends work out, that could kind of slide in and, you know, then we could assist them for a year or two. Right. Because it takes a lot of knowing how to set up either, you know, the, the the renovations or the the food, you know, there's just so much to do. So we're looking for number one, you know, they need to be vegetarian and spiritual. Right. So that's our main criteria, and then they need to have a little bit of money. So you know, if they have that, then there is an ad in the Issues magazine that um, says all about the details. All right, so first of all, for the listeners, where is this center and what's its name? It's the Johnson's Landing Retreat Center, and we are in the Kootenays, and we are above Nelson, and then you need to travel past Ainsworth and Caslow. And Ainsworth has got the hot springs, right? Right. Yeah, so and it's a magical place. That people... Oh, it is. It's, it's, you know, the trees are still original on the property. It's, we got fairy dells close yeah. by, you know, it's, it's a beautiful healing for the earth place. And so Johnson Planning is about two hours from Nelson. And you gotta go past the Duncan Dam and down the other side of the lake. So we're on the east side of the lake, which makes it nice and sunny and beautiful farm. And yeah, it's a wonderful way to grow yourself. And how many acres is it? 17. And how many magical million dollars are we making? A good million would be nice. A good million would be nice. Right. So do you want to retire there? If the right people showed up, it would be wonderful. You know, living in community I know. is I know. Uh, an interesting experience. How about if you said that I think that there's a whole new group that's emerging out of the millennials that is so excited about this. Yeah. And I think we have the new energy. Yeah. Past the whole thing that you and I experienced, which is arguing over who has the toothbrush in the right place and all the rest of that. Right. What, what if we could wave a magic wand and all those people showed up? Well, number one, they have to be willing to put a lot of effort in. Absolutely. And you know, this, the networking is important, at a di you know, because the old paper style of networking is going out of date. Yeah. And so the new thing is online and you got to, and I don't want to spend more time on the computer. Right. I want to be in the garden right. creating magic. I have a, I have a cardboard garden that I grow, you know, a ton of squash and a couple hundred pounds of garlic and all the vegetables we need and so for our, for our feeding our, our um, you know, participants. So is the Issues Market um, magazine part of the agreement for this yep. new group coming on? I would love to pass the torch along over there and see if somebody else can keep it going. I'd like to slow down. Right. I promised myself when I turned 65, I let my body slow down a bit. Right. And so I turned 65 this February. And 
I'm working hard to let go and see if we can just, you know, the angels need to bring in the right combination of, of young energy right. that want to continue on. So how many do you think, you know, in the ideal situation to run that community, the community of the community, what would it take, do you think? Minimum of four. Yeah. But it could easily hold seven or eight. Right. And so there's enough accommodation for seven or eight? Depends on how, we have a lodge yeah. that's got five bedrooms, yeah. so they could live in there in the winter time. Yeah. And then come summer, we have what we call our caravan park. So we've got like six caravans, and it's beautiful in the summer because it's warm and they don't have to be heated. And so there'd be that kind of movement happening. Um, and we also have um, some land above it that where we could build a cooperative um, living place, you know, where people could build their own homes. If they came in with a couple hundred thousand, they could build a five-bedroom condo where they could all live and kind of make a nicer sharing arrangement than all living in the lodge. But, um, yeah, it could work. Um, tenuously over the first year or two until they got the idea of what works for them and then they move, you know, and build. Right. And building is wonderful if you've got young men who have those skills. Right. And, and we can do you can workshops around building, building. before. We built, a, a, our latest project was a beautiful dome, a 24-foot dome that's now complete. Yeah. Oh, it is so gorgeous. It, it's worth just coming out to see the dome. Along with um, Kuan Yin has moved in. Oh, yes. Great. Uh, my 60th birthday, yeah. I saw these beautiful statues that were as big as me, hand-carved in China. And I said, well, I said to the owner, I said, uh, I don't have room right now, but I'll phone you later and see if you still have them. And he, he wanted to close the shop down, so I got a really good deal Great. on these Kuan Yin's that are my size, carved by some ancient mystical Chinese, you know, that were looking for a home. And they now live at Johnson's Landing as well. And um, they are beautiful. So, so there's a very feminine energy that's there. And this world needs a lot of compassion. Do you still have your butterfly door? Or is it butterfly on the wall? I can't remember. I know there's a picture of you before in front of butterflies, but that was at Finhorn, was it? Right. We went to Finhorn for our honeymoon when we got oh, married. We right. spent two weeks over in Finhorn trying to find out how community yeah. worked. Yeah. Oh, I learned lots, but you know, things seem to move slower than I'd like them to yeah. move. Yeah. So it's been. Um, yeah, we, we're still in contact with Finhorn, and they're still a, a very, but that's, um, they were angel wings, actually. Yeah, they were angels. Wow, you've got a good memory if you remember that picture with those beautiful right, wings. Because that was you. That was... Uh, oh, I just sat on the ground, and yeah. somebody snapped a picture, and, and I couldn't have taken, I couldn't have positioned myself better. Yeah, it was amazing. It was. It amazing. was. It was amazing. And that's really who you are. So. <laughs> I'm working on my wings, that's I tell right. people. We're all working <laughs> on our wings, wings. right? Yeah. And, uh, and we're ready to pass it on to the yeah. next generation. We were the first group through. That's it. So we have all that, you know, knowledge to help the next group come through. So this is a plea. This is a call to the next, you know, Eco Village group to join us. And we'll be your mentors and we'll be the old guard to help you do this in a brand new way. So yeah. we're looking forward for you showing up wherever you are in the world. Give us a call. Get hold of us because we're serious. We're totally serious. It's already together. It's all ready to go. And how many people can you host? We have room for about 30 people right. uh, that are in beds. Yeah. We have two beautiful camp grounds. Yeah. One has a solar shower and one has like, kind of like a solar kitchen. That was last fall's kind of building project. And, we, um, and so we can host people, about 60 for the kitchen. I've got double kitchens now. So we can, and we've got the indoor seating area and then we've got a beautiful outdoor deck where most people like to sit when it's nice out so in the summertime you know we can host 60 people and in the fall or cooler rainy weather we can host
almost 30 at a time. Right. And you have a regular clientele, don't you? That come back yeah. year after year. And this year we're fully booked. We have um, we had a, a, a Kwan a, a Yin teacher who just wrote a book about feminine Taoism, yeah. uh, Mink DeVoos. And she's rented us for a month. So she's got students from all over the world coming to teach her train with her. And we've got a couple of herbal groups, plus our usual Tai Chi and sacred music, sacred dance. We have the Spring Festival of Awareness and the Wise Women's Festival back in their usual time slots at Johnson's Landing now because the Naramata Center closed down. So yeah. we've reconfigured so we it. So you really you have a real thriving business going. This is yes. not something that you have to create. This is something you step Take into. Step into, yeah. We've got, we've got a good client tell now so it could make money for somebody who wants to spend the next 20 years working on a healing center and number one you know we, we get into what we do so that we can grow ourselves absolutely that's what community is all about oh, well, they, yeah we're in service but we're really <laughs> serving ourselves right we're, some days i call it like we're we're rocks in a barrel and we're learning to be diamonds you know so right. it's a little bit of grading and grinding that's right but, but overall, you come out sparkling and shining, and a new, a new me, and my husband, and yeah, we're. we're and you guys are doing fine. We are. Good. We are. We. Good. Yeah, we're doing I love right. his articles about his <laughs> cooking and his adventure. So I love yours too. But it's nice to have the male point of view as well. Yes, his is more sweet and shorter. Yeah. And mine tends to ramble about life's well, lessons. You're more enjoyment, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good. So he just finished a book called Clean Money. It's oh, going to be published. Uh, it's supposed to be. He's a philanthropist, by the way. <laughs> he of... was a hippie with us. He didn't want anything to do with his father's business. And uh, in meeting Robert Cabot and learning how to manage his money, he created a threshold foundation in Canada. And it's run on to fund other organizations and nonprofit organizations, and also the co-created Hollyhock, uh, which is uh, on Cortez Island, which is um, like yours, but it's upper level. It costs quite, ex quite expensive to take. Attended workshops, but it's a beautiful, beautiful place, and he's very dedicated to making that work and helping others do the same. So thank he you is. for reminding me of that. Yeah, so I'm going to go do his workshop in June, and I'm supposed to write a book. Right. So that's what my angels have on my agenda, so, you right. know, to do that, I have to do less cooking, and... Right. Let other people take over. What's your book going to be? How to take community? No, it's uh, it's going to be titled The Making of Angel. It's about me. Oh, that's, okay. that's actually how you pronounce my name. I tell people it's either on or off. Right. So I'm on. Yeah. So it's Angel, French. And so it's the making of Angel. So how do you make yourself? How do we grow ourselves? How do we grow young people? How do we grow and, and you know, be the change in the world? Right. How do we connect? when we're young because I can I was just talking to this lady right there yeah. Ima right there she's Isn't she amazing she she ended up I talked to her yesterday and she said oh he says, you were my you were my inspiration she said um she says when I I first got this download that I'm supposed to and she was really like Floating, you know. She said, "Well, can, can 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 I do something at the festival? I'm supposed to come to the festival. I don't know what I can do." So we got her some kind of a little. She was doing this or doing that, and out of that, she's developed all these skills now in the last seven years and become this magnificent, very clear. You know, she can hear, I don't 
know about angels. That's a different realm, but sometimes the little people or the fairy kingdom, you know, there's there's different levels of yeah. hearing. Sometimes I hear God's voice, yeah. and sometimes it's, it's a different sound. And so after a while, you kind of get to know where the information, whether it's coming in from the earth or from from the little people, the fairies. And we have fairies around our place out there, so it's nice to just sit in the dell and, and uh, absorb. That's all you really can do is absorb. There's nothing, you know, the, there's so many eons above our thinking. We think we're so smart because we think. <laughs> Yeah. It's going really good, yeah. 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 Super excited. I've got my eight week program coming up at the end of April. I'm actually gonna to wanna to talk to you and do an You're interview. Like interview. Right now and you're on video. Yay! So. Oh wait. <laughs> there he is. So you uh, did a great job of manifesting it. So tell us about your eight your eight-week program. Okay, so I've got my eight-week program coming up at the end of April. It's going to be run in the downtown Oxygen in Kelowna and Sundays, and then at Tidal Elements in Vernon on Saturdays. It's going to be eight weeks consecutive, uh, starting on April 29th. Every week is going to revolve around a different theme that is inspired by the Western Eye Chakra System. What? And so it's creating healthy foundations and relationships to yourself and the and the folks around you and create and cultivate a solid foundation for growth into your highest divine embodiment. Wow. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. It's going to so be awesome. tell us who you are and I mean now that you told us all about the course, <laughs> who are you? My name is Ema Rose and I do integrative healing arts. Imaginal Awakening Process and Soul Garden Alchemy are my my main companies and healing arts. Um, and so I just moved to Vernon. I am new to the Okanagan, or renewed to renewed. the Okanagan. Renewed, renewed to the Okanagan. Right. And yeah, so I'm really excited to be sharing my medicine with the, the people here. It just really called me to be here, and this is where I needed to be and to share. And, and for other excited. people that are listening to this and you want to know more about her, we have an interview on The Wellness Show, www.thewellnessshow.ca, yeah. in which we talk in more detail for half an hour. So I'm really excited about this. So are you going to actually have a video? Yes. Good. We're going to be doing a... Are you going to live stream it? Well, it's an in-person immersion, actually. Yeah. And so we're going to be doing a, every week three hours. So yeah. one part yoga, one part uh, soul garden alchemy meditation, yeah. and one part embodiment ceremony or celebration. Why don't you just quickly say what those three parts are? Oh, the, the three parts? That's what I was just saying. The, is the, yeah. the first part is yoga. Yeah, and so we're gonna, what are you going to do in there? Every week is going to be a little bit different. So each week is a different theme. Yeah. So the themes are starting at the roots. Yeah. And coming up. And coming up. All right. So you're going to do yoga to enhance every one of the root chakras, or every one of the chakras as you move up. And then the next one is going to be what? Uh, the three, three parts? Yeah. So starting with yoga, yeah. then moving into a soul garden alchemy meditation. Right. So coming out of Shavasana, we will be doing the Soul Garden Alchemy Deep Exploration, um, regard so aligning with the theme of the week. So you'll be doing guided meditation work? Guided meditation right. work, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to take the information that we got from yeah. those two, yeah. and then we're going to bring it into a ceremony. So each week is wow. going to have a different ceremony. So starting at the roots, it, we're going to come out and do a Kundalini dance activation. Wow. The second, the second week, we're going to be working with, with uh, 
the sewing security. So right. we're going to be looking at the, our relationships to our friends, family, and finances, because those are our net of security. Yeah. And in that, we're going to be coming back out and doing a process of, um, like, a, it's going to be another integration, so a dance and moving yeah, with I each other. Yeah, I saw an Hindu already there. <laughs> Some movements and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then moving up into the creative center. Yeah. And so we're going to be doing emotional release techniques. Oh, great. And then going to so to create more spaciousness for our creativity and passion to come right. through. And moving up into the solar plexus. And that solar plexus yeah. is all about the I am. So who am I? Yes. You know, how am I going to represent myself in the world? What is what am I what are my offerings? How am I going to to be in service? Right. Moving up into the heart. So this is going to be a week of forgiveness. And moving to a space of forgiveness, compassion and understanding. And also self love. Yeah, and nurturing cool. and finding out what are our healthy daily routines. What is it that we do to really fill our own cup so that we're able to be at our most powerful and our most potent to be in service for, for our families, for our earth, and just ourselves in general. Moving up into the communication centers is going to be all about finding our authentic voice, finding out our soul song, and we're gonna be doing a lot of like sounding and discovering sound frequencies within our own body and how that can be used for a greater transformation. Wow. And then moving up into the third eye, we're going to be all about our inner vision and all about uh, how we see ourselves as our divine embodiment. And in that, we allow ourselves to visualize who we are at our most divine, dress that way, and then we're going to do a soul portrait photo shoot. Wow. Yeah, and so that's so you get to really dress up and be special. a goddess and show up. And Absolutely, work. God wow. or goddess, wow. we are open to men as well. Ooh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, so for example, uh, my friend is going to be coming up from my friend Opal Michelle is coming up. Yeah. She's an amazing photographer. She has this knack for seeing the true essence of a right. person capturing it, yep. then the people will be able to choose from their contact sheet which images they want to, to have receive, yep. and I'm going to choose one and create a soul portrait image. So for example, this banner at the yep. back, that's my soul portrait, wow, that's me. And so I will be doing something similar for everyone, but with their own unique medicine right. and the things they see for themselves. So they can have it printed on their altar, remind themselves every day that they are this divine being, no matter what. All there the you time. go. One more to go. Yeah, and so the crown, that's going to be about harvesting divinity. And so that harvesting divinity, I'm going to be leading everybody through an imaginal awakening process ceremony. Wow. And so that is a full spectrum, multidimensional. Uh, like rainbow light body activation that I originally received as a holographic vision in 2010. Wow. Yeah, and so I've been traveling the West Coast for the last five years, t uh, teaching it at festivals, and um, and and really just seeding that with some of the most next level powerful people that have been called into ceremony to see that into the morphogenic field so that it's accessible for everybody. So you're creating earth angels? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, the imaginal awakening process was originally called the avatar galactivation of the metamorphic heart. Well, that's a long one. But okay. that's a long one, so I, so I simplified. So it is, it's all about awakening ourselves to our avatar consciousness. I think that just woke us up. <laughs> if we weren't already. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, so it's all about um, anchoring that avatar consciousness. Right, into the earth. Yeah. And walking the truth. Exactly. Awakening that path of heart, right. step by step, taking us towards that. And always being of service and making sure that our footfalls are a blessing on the earth. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Always. All the best. Thank you so much, Jason. Bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so she's she's 
that, you know, that's a perfect example of how do we grow ourselves? Absolutely. So that's what my book is supposed to be about, growing ourselves, and it's through my stories, because I've been blogging for 27, right. 28 years. I think I'm one of the original ones. Right. And You've been telling your story every that's, single time. That's right. I've been yeah. talking like how, and people would just show up and like, when you are ready, yeah. somebody will show up and say, hey, you know, I'm supposed to rub your feet today, or I'm supposed to give you a, 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 a roll session, right. or I'm time supposed for you. to interview you. I, I know. People do. It's just amazing where they show up out of the blue, and I, yeah. I always just go. Magic. I, where's the table? Let's, you know, because I ran the healing center yeah. in Penticton for years, so my table was open, and yeah. and usually was, you know, they wanted something from me. So yeah. after the trade, they say, well, now you know what I can do. Can you sell me? Right. And because I was teaching yoga, I would find them their first three clients, and then they'd be ready to move along. And that's what I've done so long along my path is just connect the people that need the healing with the people who need to practice. Right. And it's, as you can see, it's, it is becoming. I don't know about a mushroom, but it's certainly Growing. exponentially moving upwards as these beautiful shows here happen. Great. Yep. Well, once again, great to talk to you. <laughs> and I think we can keep on talking. We can keep on talking, talking. yes. All right. Yes. I, I had my own TV show for seven years. I actually did two TV shows back 25 years ago. I still have them on high quality film. Uh, the original organic farmers of the Similkameen. I went and interviewed all of them and then put together a little video to meet the mama of organic gardening. Um, oh, what's her name? I can see her face. Um, you know what would be cool about all that? Because I have an online academy and one of the sections I want to create is eco villages. And so having all that footage on there, right? Well, be, you know, and I have all my original TV shows on high, you know, you eating, meeting Peter Morris and some of the raking people and the people who did, you know, because that's what I did. I, I interview weird and wonderful people every week. And I would love to give those videos to somebody. Well, you're going to give them to us. Good. And, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to create this eco village, you know, on the academy. So people who are interested in doing this will come and see all the different skills and meet all the people, you know. Because really, if they stand on the back of those that have already done it, they can do it so much faster. I would love to give you, I keep wanting to give I those videos to somebody. We've and got Tai Chi, I, I you got. Know how to do that, right? Oh, yeah. Some and, and just, you might want to look at the interviews with Courtney Bale. Uh, she and I are working together. She's a full shaman. She's Spanish speaking, and she is a dynamite. And she said, "You and I are working together, and we're writing a book. So we're writing Finding the Force, and it'll be an online course. And her dream, just a short version of it, is her unborn daughter guided her to an eco village on the other dimension where it was all complete, all working and everything, and then that daughter was born into this life. And she's still having these visions and can't help but herself to move society towards equal religions. So it be. And so it be. And you my feel job, it. And your job is to help her get there. So it was a pleasure talking to you. I wanted to get this for a long time, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be in touch. And all you need to do is yourself there. Yes. Get this Email me yeah, on Shalit Issues or find an issue. You can find it online, issuesmagazine.net, because I'm a networker, or you can go to the Johnson Planning Retreat Center, .bc.ca. Um, or better yet, come for a visit this summer. Come for a visit, come attend the Spring Festival, or uh, the Sacred Music, which is more like Sufi dancing. They're all so magical and so special, and the heart open, and the nature heals, and the big trees heal, and the sound of beautiful rivers and lakes that are surrounding us. Magical. So thanks for now. I'll catch you later.
For quality online wellness products, courses, and services, visit our sponsors, thewellnessstore.ca and the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy located at thewellnessacademy.ca. To stay in touch, visit us at thewellnessshow.ca. And until next time, be healthy, wealthy, and wise.